Hi friends, I am Dharmala Shree from Smart Leaders IAS and from this editorial we are going to enter February month. So after getting your valuable feedbacks, we changed our editorial slides. So uh, from this month, we are going for daily basis uh, editorial analysis. So let us move on to the article now. The first article which came on February 1, it is about for a clean judiciary uh, which came on 1st Feb 2018. So what is this article? It is about cleaning the corruption which is engulfed in the ju Indian judiciary. So um, first we see what is the syllabus point of view regards to judiciary. Judiciary which is coming in in GS2 of mains. So here judiciary almost every year it is coming for our mains. So almost 10 to 15 months is guaranteed if we are cl clear with the judiciary aspect. So this year 2017 and it is about Supreme Court judgment on NGAC and what is your opinion it is almost for 150 words. And uh, 2016 it is about judicial review and the 14 it is about judicial activism. Here our topic is about judicial accountability and the transparent judiciary. So um, we can expect more areas from the judiciary for this 2018 examination. So expected areas it is court of appeal uh, because there are some uh, articles which came in 2017 and 16 as well for making national court of appeal and judiciary performance index which is uh, quoted by Niti Ayog now. And the second one is CJI role, which is uh, came often in the newspaper about the ma uh, master role. And the third one is transparent judiciary and the reforms in the Indian, Indian judiciary, which is our topic going to discuss. And last one is technology and the judiciary. So uh, friends, please, please be clear about these areas so that we can master about, uh, in the judiciary part of a GS2. So what is the crux of this article? So the main crux is that recently Justice Sri Narayan Shukla, the judge of Allahabad High Court, who came under the charges of corruption. So what happens after finding a uh, three-member committee was appointed, or uh, even the Madras High Court uh, CJI and other High Court CJI were uh, be the members of the committee, and they found that his guilt is proven. So here he violated judicial property and he deviated the values of judicial life. So. He, here it is a very clear reason that he can be uh, removed when uh, Supreme Court uh, CJI uh, offers the removal. So he, Supreme Court CJI has to recommend to the president. But uh, the process we know is that as usual the removal process will start from the parliament. So 100 Lok Sabha MPs has to give in their uh, opinion and the 50 uh, Rajya Sabha MPs has to move the resolution so that he can be removed. So we all know that it is very tedious process and uh, no one so far are uh, impeached by this process. And Ramasamami case is, is quite a uh, known example for everyone. And here next one is rule of in-house procedure which is followed by uh, CJI now. The option currently doing by Supreme Court is rule of in-house procedure so in order to maintain the independence of the judiciary. The judiciary evolved its own in-house procedure from 1996 they are following this procedure but critics are pointing out that in-house procedure is not so effective that is why no one is so far impeached and the erosion has taken place in the in the institution and the removal of sitting judge is the first time so it is very sad development now we will see the loopholes present in our indian judiciary the first part it is mo moral corruption entered into our indian judiciary Second part is ethics of judge. Whenever ethical question comes into conflict, first we will see whether it is a path give, uh, done by a politician or a bureaucrat. Now ethics question mark has entered into the judges as well. The next one is whenever uh, you want to file an FIR against a judge, we need to get a permission from a CJ. So without CJ's permission, FIR can't be filed. Again, it is a tedious process. The next one is proven misbehavior, which is constitutionally guaranteed for judges. So, uh, un, which is guaranteed under Article 1 to 4, Class 4. So, here again, in the process becomes very tedious. So, we are not able to provide any punishments to the judges even after they have, even the mis, uh, misbehavior is known until it is proven. And the next one is Judges Inquiry Act. This article, Judges Inquiry Act 1968, made that. Uh, Permission of 100 MPs, they need 100 MPs from Lok Sabha, and they need to pass the resolution, and then the 50 uh, Rajya Sabha MPs had to uh, pass the resolution so that a removal can be initiated and uh, further processed. So, this is the main culprit 
so far no uh, judges uh, no judges was removed from the court so and uh, because even uh, some judges like uh, ganguly uh, justice ganguly who have been uh, guilt on uh, guilt of sexual harassment but they are not tried so far because of this provision needs to be amended and the next one is current in house procedure so already we told in house procedure which is not effective because here fellow judges are, are not so strict to taking care of their brother judges will come again so this one current in house procedure which is not so effective because as a reluctance to take strict action against their brother judges and the next one is supreme court shield to judges in the virasami case it says that uh, judges cannot be tried so easily so these are the some loopholes present in and present in the removal of judges as in our judicial system what should we need to do to incorporate it uh, the integrity and the public restore the public faith in our to our judicial system so the first one is law commission recommended in the 18th report and the 121th report or the appointment of national judicial commission it should but however here there are some um, concerns because it involves executive and the legislative but it is according to the supreme court or to who can come under uh, who can frame a independent uh, national judicial commission and uh, it makes the ultimate purpose is to make the judiciary more accountable and the next one is passing of judicial accountable bill well, 2010 it is lapsed in the parliament so need to move that and the next other areas apart from removal of judges there are other areas we need to be taken care for um, making judiciary more accountable everyone knows the in this area appointment of judiciary and the second one is contempt of court we need to amend the contempt of court procedures and the third one is judicial activism and which is going to an end of towards the end of judicial adventurism and the reason one is judicial performance index for uh, lawyer courts so we know that judicial accountability and the judicial independence is not and uh, uh, not opposite to each other actually both are the consequence of each other because without accountability we cannot ensure the independence of a uh, and public institution which is a guarantor of our constitutional rights and uh, a uh, last man resort for our public so please prepare these areas all the best thank you